Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I begin, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rachach, Wadash. Double understood the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone that rule well. And as always, peace, blessings, and salutations unto the for elect tabernacle of David, scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. So, who did y'all vote for? I, hey, I voted. Yeah, I, I, I voted. My, who got my vote? <laughs> yeah, how about Shimmy? I was shy. That's, that's who got my vote. All right. But apparently, uh, in the two third world, you, know, you had uh, Jake split, you know, on who was going to, you know, be the perfect candidate, which uh, whoever got in, it wasn't going to change. Uh, your conditions It wasn't going to change uh, You being under the curses You know You being um, the least regarded uh, People <laughs> Of all people Like the curse said it would um, You know It's just it, What was going to change for you And this is why The Lord leaves you In his predicament he said in, uh, the, in Proverbs, the first chapter, that uh, he will leave you to your own devices. And since you put your trust in man, that's going to be your curse. So now you got a portion of our people, you know, uh, primarily so-called black women. You know, she's feeling uh, betrayed. She's feeling left out. You know, she's in that woe is me. You know, nobody cares about us. This damsel in distress attitude. And just look at this uh, image right here, in this from this video. Look at the look at the face on this uh, so-called young black woman. That tells it all. That, that's priceless right there. Just look at her. And this is by by the way, this was uh, last night. All right, uh, Trump was. Killing uh, Kamala by a landslide, and uh, they realized that Kamala she didn't have a shot, and it was also told them that she was not going to show up. They sh they um, she was to to make a speech at a uh, Howard University, so you had a bunch of uh, liberals, a bunch of so-called black women, uh, feminized men. Uh, you know, liberal white, so-called white women, uh, the LGBT crowds. You know, they all showed up <clears throat> at the campus, only for her to abandon them. <laughs> all right, she she never showed up. She was a no-show. She didn't want to talk to you niggas, man. She ain't got nothing to to to, to say to you. Y'all forget <laughs> when they asked her early on. About if she would have spe uh, policy specifically for for so-called black people, she said, "Now you know, the policies that I'll make will benefit not just black people, but for everybody." So she made it specific. I'm not in here for for them. But y'all thought it was going to be different this time around if she got in. So this is what you get for putting your trust in man. Now you know they all in their feelings. You know, the emotions is through the roof right now. You got a lot of women on uh, Twitter or X, you know, basically letting it be known, you know, where they at with men. They hate men, you know. They're 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 blaming the so-called black man on the electoral college <laughs> selecting Trump. Now, mind you, I did a lesson last night on how it doesn't matter who you vote for. Wh whoever you voted for, your vote really went to. Amalek, you really voted for Zionist Israel because whoever got in, they were going to have to serve the interests of the Zionists any damn way. They have to follow their pecking orders. They don't run nothing. They're just puppets. Trump was the perfect uh, candidate to, to, to run back because he's, he's going to push the transhumanist agenda. All right, the fourth industrial revolution. They're going to use him for that. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty sure because he, he made mentions about uh, trying to stop the war over there, but he has to do what they tell him to do. So he ain't stopping nothing. More money is going to go over there. Your economy is not going to get any any better. 
but they pouting. They got their lips poked out. They acting like it's the end. It, it, it. Listen, it was gonna be bad either way. Either way. And uh, you know, Trump that voted for I mean Jake that voted for Trump. Hey, they the same thing we would say for uh Jake that that was supporting uh, Kamala, we'll say the same thing. Because you put your trust uh, let me get it. Let's go to Isaiah 30. Yeah, Isaiah 30 and 12, it says, Wherefore, it does saith the Holy One of Israel, because you despise this word, you refuse to hearken to the prophets, because we told you about both, both of them. All right? And even before, uh, prior to this election, when, when Joe got in, we told you how freaky it was going to get when Joe and Kamala got in. We told you. You niggas were celebrating. And now you got a migrate, a heavy migration crisis. Now you got squatters invading homes, and if you own a property, you try to get them out of your property, they'll beat your ass, beat you damn near half to death. Ask uh, Buckshot Shorty from uh, that group, Black Moon, for those of you that, that, that are old enough to remember that group, the, the Dug Down crew. All right, this is what you got. High ass uh, gas prices. All right, heavy inflation, eviction rates at, at its highest, the employment uh, rate. Look at everything. And so Jake think that Trump is about to spin everything because he's more on the conservative side. But y'all gonna see when he gets in. It, th this was more of a pick your poison election. Which you don't have a say so on who gets in, but you know you you can be delusional enough to see what your option can be, and if you think that they're gonna be the ones that's gonna liberate you. Now he saw he's he's the one that's feeling proud for right now, but he's still at the end. They're still gonna bring forth this transition into the the NWO. All right, so. You to you you Jake's out there that's you know you you feeling happy that that voted for this guy. This goes for you included. All right, it says because you despise this word and trust in oppression, you know, we have no king but Caesar. That's you. All right, and perverseness and stay thereon. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking su coming suddenly. At an instant So let me get that in uh, the new living It says this is the reply of the Holy One of Israel Because you despise what I tell you And trust instead in oppression and lies And you know When you still trust in this entire system Whether you Democratic or Republican This is what you still tr putting your trust into Oppression and lies Because they, they both lie to you all right, you you you're never given real uh, tangibles. You don't get anything for your so-called vote. You're just used. <laughs> okay. It says calamity will come upon you suddenly, and um, I'm waiting for Trump. If if, if they don't uh, try to assassinate his ass, <laughs> you know, up until the the inauguration. Um, he's gonna be that cruel lord. He already let it be known what he planned on doing. You know, giving the, the immunity to uh, law enforcement. You know, uh, 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 bringing in the, the the firing squads, and uh, he was the one that was talking about the uh, was that the seventeen uh, ninety seven act. He's going to bring in all these harsh executive orders. And he's going to speak as that dragon. This is the same Trump that locked everything down in 2020. This is the same Trump 
who uh, okay uh, Operation Warp Speed. They get all them jabs, them 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 them, uh, them death shots out there and in, 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 into circulation so that you people can uh, shoot yourself up. <laughs> and then year a couple years after, by the time Biden gets in, people just dropping. It's the same dude. They're all for uh, the Zionist uh, agendas, for world uh, uh, world control, and this is about to turn into a, a, a digital prison world real soon. It says, <clears throat> like a budging wall that bursts and falls in an instant, it will collapse and come crashing down. You will be smashed like a piece of pottery Shattered so completely that there won't be a Piece big enough to carry coals from a fireplace Or a little water from the well This is what the Sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says Only in returning to me And resting in me Not in your, not in the damn president who, who Who's controlled, who, take, he, who gets his or her uh, pecking orders from the Zionist elite Alright They do not have your, your best interest man They do not have any good intentions Whatsoever Scriptures say if he doeth good He doeth it unwillingly And at the end he will declare his wickedness So your only best bet right now Is to return to the heavenly father man Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai But our women they already Showing you with their emotions Alright Who they choose They have no intentions on turning to the Lord man They felt You know very liberated You know under this, this, this cesspool That's what they're really upset about You know They, they don't want They don't want um, You know their, their right and, and, and liberty You know to, to, to abuse themselves they don't want that tarnished They don't want to see Their, their rights and privileges As uh, women to, to be able to Destroy themselves They don't want that tarnished They don't want to lose that comfortability You know To, 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 to enjoy You know being reckless You know with their, their bodies and to, to be treated as uh, adults, right? She want to be treated as an adult in the same vein, but not be accountable like a child. You know. So she 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 she's showing what her 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 emotions, how she really feel. You know, we don't have the right to, you know, kill off our offspring, which Trump, when he was in office, he never stopped abortion. The main policy that he set up when he got in the office years ago was for um, basically non-governmental uh, non organizations that's receiving federal uh, funding to not go outside of the country to promote abortions as a method of uh, family planning. That was what he uh, came in to, to, to push. The ban was on funding uh, organizations that are uh, non-governmental to go form with their uh, promotion. You women, it, it didn't stop you from being a horse. It didn't stop you from uh, getting rid of your own offspring. Okay, you still had your Cardi B's and and and, and you know your whore culture in in, in uh, so-called hip hop. And now that uh, Kamala is is, is <laughs> no longer the one, now you feeling betrayed. You know, you take a big L. All right, the, the 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 Cardi B's, well, she endorsed Trump at first. She probably secretly put her vote in for Trump. 
but she probably got some money up under the table from uh, the, the, the the Kamala administration, and she went out there and made y'all look like a like an ass, a complete joke. You had that chick Azalea Banks, you know she was uh, acting like she was uh, going for a Kamala, but come to find out, <laughs> she posted a picture and said she basically uh, she lied, she psyched you, she really put in her vote for uh, Trump. So even some of these women knew that this was not going to be a good look if if that woman got up in there. They definitely felt that. But you had a lot of delusional as uh, so-called black women who really thought that this would have been a sign of, you know, more uh, power, more empowerment, you know, more liberty to do what she wanted to do. Basically, just uh, uh, resorting back to her own pleasure. Which the scriptures say, she that liveth from pleasure is dead while she liveth. So now that that's shot, now she's feeling uh, distressed. Now she's damsel in distress. Now it's going to be a handmaid's tale in her mind. <laughs> and, it, and it just might. There's a prophecy in which we, the prophet's always been warning you. And Isaiah, uh, the 32nd chapter, rise up, you women that are at ease. Let's look at this real quick. We still have votes to count. We still have states. Yeah, this Negro, we still got hope. We still got hope, uh, family. These boule ass niggas that done went through them doors. These niggas had to be freaky to be put in this uh, position. And now he gotta, you know, he gotta coddle you. Cause you feeling, you know, you're in your feelings now. You, you're, you're disappointed. What did y'all think was gonna happen, man? that have not been called yet. We will continue overnight to fight to make sure that every vote is counted, that every voice has spoken. So you won't hear from the vice president tonight, but you will hear from her tomorrow. She will be back here tomorrow to address not only the HU family, not only to address her supporters, but to address the that, that come on that, that that's an embar that's an embarrassment and that shows you how much she really feel about you you come out there and you turn out for her and she don't even show up <laughs> couldn't keep it professional that, that's like uh at a boxing match you know in the uh, in the pros you know, y'all fighting for a belt and it's a you know it's a good fight you know uh High ticket sales, a good um, uh, a good gate, you know, as far as the ticket sales, you know, for people to actually come. And you lose in in, in this championship match, and then you know post uh, post fight, you know, when it's time to you know uh, interview the, the fighter that lost. You, instead, you just walk out of the ring. You don't. You don't want to, you know, uh, speak to the crowd. You, know, you don't want to actually talk about what went wrong in the fight. <laughs> and then the post-fight conference, you don't even show up for that. That's pretty much what this was. She didn't even show up. But this is what you put your trust in. You put your trust in an unreliable person. She was showing you, she's showing you right here. She was not gonna, she wouldn't have even been a reliable candidate for you. She was damn near absent for the majority of uh, Biden's run. Then she peek out at the end and you thought she really, really had a chance. 
Nobody felt strongly about this woman ruling over them. You women are delusional. All right. <clears throat> this is this is funny, man. See you niggas, you know, acting like this. Let's go to this one real quick. This man, I'm this thinking about it was the same nigga that was uh, crying when Biden uh, first got in. Now this dude is on some woe is me shit. His feminine side showing. These these boule coon ass Negroes. About the people who are not a part of anybody's elite who are hurting tonight. Um, uh, there are African American women who know a little bit about being talked down to. Now they they're gonna make it a narrative about you know men versus women. They're gonna make this a a, a color purple type of issue it, it has nothing to do with that but that's how the narrative that's how the narrative is going to get spent by the media to continue to facilitate the divide between the uh the, the, the so-called black man and, and black woman or man and woman in, in in general so because we can't get our way we're going to we're going to continue to you know split the households up this is diabolical work here and our people don't really see this because they don't see nothing else like the scriptures say they trust in oppression and perverseness and know a little bit about having their economic dreams crushed who tried to dream a big dream over the past couple of months come on dog stop it you still believing in dreams you still sleep the scriptures say dreams lift up fools let me, let me get that real quick this dude he's very unsufferable very unsufferable man Sir Rock uh, 34 and 1 it says the hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false and dreams lift up fools and the scriptures say that about our people our people are uh they're foolish they have not known the lord Just listen to this dude he's he's a damn idiot van jones this dude is a straight clown man months and tonight they're trading in a lot of hope for a lot of hurt and well, i mean there's no hope for, for babylon there's no hope for this place regardless who got in there all right look let's go to lamentation it's lamentation 4 and 17 it says as for us our eyes are yet fail for our vain help in our watching we have watched for a nation that could not save us all right your 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 hope isn't something that's completely false you hoping for the wrong shit first of all we're not supposed to put nobody over us that's not an Israelite Deuteronomy 17 and 15 and I'm going to read it in the uh, the NLT and it says if this thing it's like you, if this happens be sure to select as king the man the Lord your God chooses does it look like our people believe that no they 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 they, they want to select Whoever these the, the elite put in front of their face, they always well. We only have, we have this choice or this choice. How about neither? How about returning back to your your your, your Lord and, and Savior? But Jake had to be like the heathen, wanting a king over them, somebody that's foreign over them. Cause that's what they're used to they're used to others ruling over them because they've been slaves all this time it says if this happens be sure to select a king the man 
Lord your God chooses, you must appoint a fellow Israelite. He may not be a foreigner. All right. And Esau, he's not going to put another Israelite over us. The only time he'll do that is if they're bought and paid for, they're compromised and sold out. Like all your puppet uh, 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 representatives, your so-called activists. Okay? All these niggas that are put in uh, these high positions, you know, basically the black boule, they all are uh, compromised. Esau owns all of them. But they're the only ones that could represent and be your spokes uh, persons. They're the ones that's influencing you who to vote for. And they all are basically telling you, you got to vote for a foreigner. You got to vote for the enemy. Vote for them so that we could continue to eat and sell you, continue to sell you out. So we could continue to be the gatekeepers. So, you know, Jake, they're they're totally uh, ignorant, like the scriptures say. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. All right, there's no truth, nor knowledge, nor mercy. Right, there's none of that in in the land. That's why the Lord has a controversy with you. Right, let me get a uh, Jeremiah 2. This is a uh, let me see. Yeah, let me. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start at. Uh, let me go to the AMP translation on this one too. said all right I'll, I'll start at uh, 23 it says how can you say and this is an amplified version Jeremiah 2 and 23 it says how can you say I am not defiled I have not gone after man-made gods like the Baals look at your way in the valley know without any doubt what you have done and uh yeah you you have uh ran after you, you you do serve baal as long as you are in this liberal mindset you know you uh you know you trust in a child sacrifice because that's basically what you believe in when you go out there and uh, decry my body my choice that that's that's an act of uh baal worship you, you <laughs> going back to the ancient world when you sacrifice your child to Molech. Alright. Look at your way in the valley. Know without any doubt what you have done. Hey, you you and that debauched spirit, hey them them ditty parties, you serve by our barif. It's like you're not a barif, by our pior, which is the god of uh Licenti licentiousness those of you feeling a certain way about Kamala not getting in because you're you're that, that's the sexually liberated crowd they believe in the whore them because hey Kamala she was she's a whore she slept her weight into her position she was going to be for the uh the LGBT mafia and it's not like uh Trump is going to push any uh, agenda against them. 
they're still going to be able to have some uh, same-sex marriage. That didn't change when he was in office the first uh, uh, term. You still had your rights. You women still had your rights. To, to, to of course, to be wicked. This is the, the, the devil, he gives you license to sin. The Lord doesn't do that, but this devil do. So, you might not directly worship Baal, but you indirectly worship Baal just with your practices and your beliefs alone. Liberalism, that's a form of licentiousness. And that's exactly uh, the God of uh, Baal Peor represents. It says, know without any doubt what you have done. You're a swift and restless young female camel in the heat of her passion running here and there. You know, just just on heat and desperate. All right, you, you you itching to serve these other gods by way of your actions, your your your, your, your moral beliefs and, and and you know how you conduct yourself is really immoral. All them all them degenerates were supporting uh, Kamala, sexy red Glorilla. Cardi B, Beyonce. And now you got all these butt hurt, shea buttered, septum ring wearing demons. And, 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 and they just mouthing off. And they're showing that they hate you, uh, uh, so called black man, you Israelite men. Hey, the scriptures say, out of the abundance of the heart, do if a man speak. So they're 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 putting their mind on the internet right now, and they're showing you that they really are not, they never was with you. All right? She's proving that she's without a shadow of a doubt, your enemy. And she's showing that she's the most high enemy too. Micah uh seven and uh ten. That she that is my enemy shall see it. And shame is is is, is covering her right now. She thought that she was about to get extra uh, power, <laughs> extra liberation. To be even more proud and arrogant and puffed up against you. She hot. So what, they gonna close their legs down? Well, I got news flash. Men were already leaving away from you. All right. You were not even an option on the table. Men are going elsewhere now. They're going to, 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 to foreign women. So if you think that you're going to use this to, to try to usurp authority over men and act like you're not going to give men the time of day, you, you displaying, uh, you know, your hatred, your anger, saying, you know, what, what <laughs> you already see what the agenda is going to be now. The narratives is, you know, damsel in distress, color purple. The men were never with their uh, women. The women were the backbone of, of, of the community. You know, nobody ever looks our way. We're always on our own. Got to, well, you always prided yourself on being uh, strong and independent. So what are you complaining for? Be, now try to continue to be strong and independent. You got it. You told that you you told this uh, 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 delusion for some decades now since you've been liberated. It's time for you to to to, to lay in the bed that you that you made. This, and you women crashing out on on the internet, all over uh, Instagram and X and Facebook or whatever else on TikTok. This is it's not going to help you any better this is only making things worse because you're going to realize when 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 jacob's trouble hit and trump is definitely the the, the candidate for that to, to bring trouble to jacob you're going to be without uh help you're going to be without protection because you already you you showed your men in the last few decades that you, they're not valuable in your eyes. They're worthless to you. 
You could do well without them. That's what the 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 the, the enemy, the serpent, that's what he put in your brain. And you went right along with it. He put you under psychosis. So here it is, man. But anyway, let me finish this up. Verse 20, 24 says, or you have uh, you have the untamed and reckless nature of a wild donkey accustomed to the wilderness that sniffs the wind in her passion for the scent of a mate. Just thirsty, man, looking for anybody. Obama, Kamala, Biden, whoever, Trump. It says in her mating season, who can restrain her? Who can who can stop her? No male seeking her need to weary themselves. In her month, they will find her looking for them. And this is this is this is a crazy analogy. This is how Israel desperately seek for a foreigner to rule over them. This is how thirsty Jake really get for 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 oppression. It says, cease your mad running after idols to keep your feet from becoming bare and your throat from becoming dry. But you said it is hopeless for I have loved strangers and foreign gods and I will walk after them. And Israel to this day is yelling this sentiment. Right, we, we only love foreign gods and foreign people. We want them over us. And this is, you know, the, the you're showing the Heavenly Father who you choose. So guess what? This is why the Lord is going to turn away his face like it tells you in uh, Hosea, the fifth chapter. I will go to return into, into my place and until you acknowledge your offense. He said, I will hide my face, man. So, yeah, that's uh, yeah, it says, uh, verse 26 says, As the thief is shamed when he is caught, so the house of Israel is shamed. Their, they, their kings, their leaders, their priests, and their prophets. So, and, 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 Going back to uh, what it says in uh, Isaiah, let's go to Isaiah um, 30. The strength of Pharaoh is going to be your shame. Isaiah 31, it says, Woe, judgment is coming to the rebellious children, declares the Lord, who carry out a plan but not mine. And make an alliance by pouring out a libation, but not of my spirit, in order to add sin to sin. Who proceed down to Egypt without consulting me to take refuge in a stronghold of Pharaoh and to take shelter in a shadow of Egypt. And that's our people right now. Whether you was going for Kamala or uh, Trump. Therefore, the safety and protection of Pharaoh will be your shame. Because we can't forget Babylon is the, 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 the place of unwalled villages. Nations are going to be arrayed against this, this whore. Said that he's going to uh, uh, grind the mill, uh, uncover the thigh, make bare the leg. He's going to expose and make this place vulnerable. So you're not going to have real safety or protection when that time comes. And it's going to be to you, your, you, you, you dudes out there, and you, and you women. It's going to be to your shame because you're not making uh, the heavenly Father Himself uh, your shield, your buckler, your refuge. It says in the refuge in the shadow of Egypt your humiliation and disgrace so 
That's that's what it's gonna be. You're gonna be humiliated. Trump is gonna humiliate you niggas for Trump. The, you know, Charleston Whites and you know the Kanye's for his princes are at Zoan and his ambassadors arrive at Haines in Egypt. All will be ashamed because of a people who cannot benefit them, who are not a help or benefit, but a shame and also a disgrace. Nothing's gonna benefit you when it, when it's all said and done. You're under the curse. And what the elites got coming for you, everybody's gonna be in a bad place. Imagine a social credit system that you got to be a part of. Well, all your privileges are going to be stripped away. All right, your, your, your monetary system is controlled. Your access to be able to get certain uh, resources is, is, is limited, is rationed. Every move that you make is uh, uh, monitored. Every transaction uh, is being close, closely watched. All right. The MOT to the B. Trump is definitely going to uh, push it. So. Yeah, man. I had to I had to go in. OK. And you, you women out there, you only making it worse for yourselves. Out there talking all that shit on the internet. And nothing goes away. You got to remember. Y'all know this. Everything that goes on the internet stays on the internet. So when it gets hot, when, 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 when things starts to get super tight. Don't forget what you were saying. You're going to be on your own. And that's when uh, Isaiah 4 and 1 is going to definitely uh, strike. And a lot of these women are going to be getting curved left and right. So anyway, <clears throat> you know, Lord willing, this was uh, edifying. Let me give all praise to y'all. By Shimei Oshai. And until the next lesson, Shalom. Look at all these damn meltdowns, man. This, this is sick. This is a straight sick, man. But hey, Trump, do what you got to do, homie. <laughs> All right? Do what you got to do. Man, this place is, is through. Shalom.